we're basically living in a system, in a system. You know what I mean by that? That we're living in a system, in a system. And we try to explain this while going through certain um, um, background and explanation of the debt crisis and, and how this is, is engineered, it's part of the system. You know, saying the man-made system, but we're living in a system, a man-made system that's in a system, in the creational system, in 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 God's system. You understand? And unfortunately, most people have lost sight of God's system. In the fact, that there's even a God. You understand? Of God's system. You understand? And the the heat wave and and other type of um. Even weather-related phenomena to a degree should remind people. But even there, many people believe that somehow uh, the the powers that be, you understand, the man-made system can even control the weather. They can adversely affect the weather. You know, but they, they think that, well, even that must be controlled by this man-made system. And and, and 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 the so called white man or the Anglo American, the European, the Gentiles that control this system. But we are living in a system in the system. This is something that really we need to really try to um comprehend. See think about that for a moment. We are living in a system in a system. If you can see that we're living in a system, in a man-made system that's in a system, in God's made system, and the two are going in opposite directions. The two are contradictory to each other. We can almost say the two are at war. Remember the old white man's thing was about controlling nature. Controlling nature? What do you mean? Like dominating, ruling nature to, to prove to nature what? Aren't you part of nature, but now they discover a new thing. We are all one. We are part of the same what you call. And the ancient peoples of different lands understood this, so now we're going to act like native people. I mean, what kind of crap is this? You see, we're living in a system in a system. I like to use this example. Examples are very, very um, appropriate ways, especially when explaining some of these, these um, abstracts which on a certain level you have to be able to think abstractly to even understand that we're living in a system in a system. Some people think we're just being redundant, trying to sound heavy. No, we're living in a system in a system. If you can't understand this, perhaps this example would. Imagine being in a a new car, right, a new automobile. You have air conditioning, but it's very hot outside. It's a heat wave. Now, the car shuts off. The automatic doors lock for whatever reason you can't get out. You can't turn on the car anymore and turn the air conditioning. But the car is still cool, you know, because you was blasting the AC. Now, you are in a system, you're in this car, but the car somehow, because of a malfunction, won't let you out. Now, you may not really recognize the car's malfunction. You may not recognize how long you're going to be in the car. You don't recognize that that AC is about to fade away. You understand? And perhaps wherever you're stopped or parked is in the sun. Or, or maybe there's some clouds or trees. But as the day progresses and you can't get out that car, you can't start it, you can't open the doors, you can't turn on the AC, the sun starts beaming in on the car. Now, notice something. There's people maybe outside who are very hot, so forth and so on, but because they're in God's system, you know, in the fresh air, they can manage it. They have opportunities. They're not locked in the system of the automobile or the car like you. You're, you're, you're locked in the car. So you're locked in the system, in the system. It's almost like when they come across those um, careless parents who leave their infant children in the car. You understand? And no windows. or forgot their child was in the car and no windows. And some children have died. Some have almost died unless a good Samaritan saw the situation, got help, or broke the window in order to let in air. 
you understand, so that child does not suffocate in the car. And this is where we're at. We are in a system, in a system, and no doubt the weather is hot. The global environment is hot. Whether we're talking about the Horn of Africa, I promise that, whether we're talking about England or America, the captivity, or anywhere around the world, there are things happening, people are fighting, people are dying, there's shifts, there's movements, there's all sort of chaos and confusion wherever you go. But when you are in a system, in a system, when the system is working good, for example, like that car with the AC, when it's running, it's working good, no problem. But if there was some malfunction and you got stuck in that car, think about it, and it's hot, or perhaps the flip, the reverse, it's very cold, you can't get out, you can't open the doors, you can't control or reconfigure, you understand, anything, because the system is malfunctioning. This is what the debt crisis is. The debt crisis is a man-made, engineered malfunction. One cannot get out of the vehicle, you understand? And most will not dare break a window in the vehicle, especially...